part of the country, so when you return here, it's like you're coming home and you just feel that energy from your ancestors, the spirits in the area. You always feel at home when you come out here, you know, no matter whether it's hot, dry or like this or whatever, you know, it's home. To me, we're home, you know. Definitely. These Barimaya people have returned to the lands of their forefathers to have a say in the way their country is managed. Their return is part of a state government plan to create 5 million hectares of new land and marine parks and reserves across the state. Here, in the beating red heart of WA's Murchison region, the Plan for Our Parks initiative has resulted in the addition of 114,000 hectares of former pastoral stations and unallocated crown land to the reserve system. With stock removed and the country enjoying its best winter rains in years, the Barimaya people believe their ancestors are already rejoicing. I think they're rejoicing now because we look at it in terms of, look at the country today. It's coming back, it's starting to look beautiful and green and healthy again. And that says to our heart that we're doing the right thing. I think they'd be very proud. Yeah, that, um, you know, that they can see Buddy my people taking control, yeah and having an interest in their land. For the Barimaya, helping to manage their land is not just about protecting nature, but about preserving cultural sites honouring the land stories. For this is a country rich in cultural heritage and dreamtime tales. Look at the handprints there. Yeah. Yeah, all this is sort of engraved in, like chipped in. Uh, they would probably use some sharp, sharp stone or something. And the handprints are done by Oka or Wilji. And the story goes that the red kangaroo was speared and he travelled through the hills and on, when you see the hills all turn red, that's the blood from him with his hopping up there and that's where he dies up there at Wildemire and that, that's why there's so much red ochre up there. This would have been an area for the old people, the ancestors to come and camp, uh, hunt, get ducks, ducks eggs. As you can see that they've got heaps of uh, artifacts to show that they've been around here. And uh, this lake here is a, is a um, significant place for the Bimaram, which is our um, rainbow serpent. And he had a hand in making this in the hills. The old guy that was on the back of the ute with us, he pointed that out to me. We were both on, standing on the back of the ute and he said, see that white spot there? Gummy, he said, that's, that's where the good spirits live in there. And he said, if your spirit come, is good, it'll come back there to that spot and you'll come back as a part of the country. So we're here in a site that is um, particularly women's business and it's a fertility site and I believe it's a birthing site as well. And we've got hills behind me here that represent the female body and um, possibly pregnant. <laughs> and also um, I know of sites in the hills there where you can go if you are wanting to become pregnant. By jointly managing their country alongside Department of Biodiversity, Conservation and Attraction staff, the Barimaya are able to fulfil their responsibility to look after their country. For Alan Leggerini, the joint management enables him to take care of the Dreamtime serpent, the Bimara, and the waters it inhabits. 
Alan has special responsibilities. After an elder from afar hand selected him for the task when he was just a child. So they took me up the waterfall. Apparently they were singing in uh, language. And uh, we had a big drought. And my grandmother and I went up the waterfall and dug down in the sand until we got to water. And then we got these tins, old jam tins or whatever they were, and just got the water out and threw it all around the cave, all around the walls and then. And then next morning I woke up, oh, well, really early in the morning, I could hear noise and it was frogs. And then you could hear the waterfall roaring. You know how it used to come down yeah, through that? Yeah. I looked out and the dam was overflowing, the water was running down the lake. And... The joint management arrangement includes plans for an Aboriginal ranger program and Indigenous tourism opportunities, sparking new hope for younger Buddy Meyer people. I see it uh, being very good for, for the future generations. There'll be opportunities here, I think, for tourism and telling Buddy Meyer stories, cultural tourism. The future is going to look so much brighter. I can only say that um, our young ones are going to benefit from this and that's why um, myself and my elders are here today to get this up and running, to see it through and then have something to be left behind for our young ones. Well, it gives them something to do, you know, instead of sitting around in town or whatever and doing nothing. But out here, they can be on country, learn a bit about their country, and feel proud, you know, to be an Aboriginal person. This gives them a chance to be somebody and, you know, make a life for themselves.